Today I'll show you a free way of setting up an invoice with a payment link that you can send to your customers or clients via email. If they click on it, they will be taken to this page where they can use their credit or debit card or any other method to make payments. We'll start by setting up a free account on Stripe and then customize our invoices to match up branding. I'll also show you how to send invoices automatically. So to create the invoices, you need to install Stripe on your site. So let's do that first. On WP dashboard, search for Stripe. Here's the plugin. So I'll quickly install and activate it. Then I'll go to WooCommerce, select settings and go to payments. Click on finish setup. And now I must connect my Stripe account to my website. So I'll open a new tab go to the Stripe website and sign in to my account. And this is what the dashboard looks like. Next, I'll go back to my website and click here to connect my Stripe account. Just wait for a few seconds and you'll be redirected to your site. Okay, my account is now connected and here are all the payment options you can choose from. I'll just stick with the credit card option and go to the Stripe dashboard. Before we can do anything, we need to add a customer to send an invoice to. So. Let's click on customer and then select add customer. I'll enter the customer's name and email address like this. And you can also add a description if needed. There are also other options to add more details like phone number, shipping address and the currency. After filling everything out, I'll just click add customer and we're all set. Now we need to add a product to add in the invoices. So let's quickly create that. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll select the product catalog from the menu like this. Here, I'll add the product name, description, an image. If you offer subscriptions, you can also set up a recurring invoice. But since this is a one-time deal, I'll choose the one-off option and enter the product price. Once everything's filled out, I'll click on add product. All right, I think we've got everything. So let's create our invoice. I'll select billing and then choose create an invoice. I'll add the customer's name, set the currency and specify the quantity of the product. You can adjust the product quantity and if needed, add taxes or coupons, then click save. If you need to add more items to invoice, just click add items, fill in the details and save them as we did before. Next, I'll move on to the payment collection. Here, you can set the payment due date. Let's say seven days for this invoice. I've got the card payments enabled by default, but if you want to activate other payment methods, select manage payment methods to see what's available. Keep in mind that some payment options might not be available depending on your country. To check, go to invoice settings, scroll down to default payment terms and turn on the methods you want. Once done, hit save. For this invoice, I'm sticking with the card payments. Next is the delivery section where you can choose to automatically send the invoices to the customer with the payment link. I'll keep that enabled. You can also add a memo to the invoice, which I'll do and I'll add a footer as well. I think the invoice looks a bit plain, so let's add some style to it. I'll go to the branding settings where I can upload a logo and change the colors. Now let's preview how it looks across different formats. This design is looking good, so I'll go ahead and click save changes. Finally, it's time to send the invoice. If you want to, you can also add a CC for someone else. Now let me show you how the invoice will look in your customer's email. Here's the invoice with the payment link included. When the customer clicks on the link, they'll be redirected to the payment page where they can use their preferred payment method. You can track all your payments directly from your Stripe dashboard. This allows you to easily send an invoice with a payment link to your customers, making it convenient for them to pay. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to post them in the comments. I'll see you in the next video. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this, so click here and I'll see you there.